Okay, hi everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time, we finished up Mad Monster Mansion. Got all that completely finished. And unless I am mistaken, I think we only have two more worlds to go in the entire game. So, that's so, oh no, we can take the shortcut. So, <laughs> that's kind of swell. Um, now I will warn you that I have no idea where to go, really, um, to get to the next world. I know what the next world is, but I don't know where it is, and I don't know where its puzzle is. So, I'm gonna have to, to figure that out. Now, one other thing. We do still have to get that Jiggy up in Grunty's eye. Wait, did we ever get that one that was, uh... The one where we... I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we have, we have to get the flight pad again. So, we, uh... It's up here. I don't know how many red feathers we have. Oh, it's pretty good. Almost max. So, this should be no problem. And then, um... The next world. I have a feeling it's in the same direction as the uh, Mad Monster Mansion uh, puzzle was. Because I, I, I don't know. <laughs> that area kind of rung a bell. Sort of. Okay, go, please. Oh, just barely made it. Alright, so there's the Jiggy right there. Now, I guess we didn't really need to beak bomb the eye before. We could have just beak bombed it now. Whatever, there we go. Seventh Jiggy in Grunty's lair. Oh, and, uh. Well, if we, uh. Oh. Well, okay, never mind. It's not worth it. <laughs> okay. So, where did we go? We went up in, uh, we went over here, didn't we? To get to the next... To, uh, I don't care, Grunty. To get to Mad Monster Mansion, I mean. Did we? Was it over? Oh, yeah, it was, but... Oh, shoot. You know, I just remembered, we forgot to do the thing, um... Outside of Mad Monster Mansion, then you have to do as a... Oh, well... As I was saying, we forgot to do that thing outside of, or I forgot to do that thing outside of Mad Monster Mansion that you have to be a pumpkin to do, and we went through all the trouble to hit the gate on the outside as Banjo and Kazooie, and we never did it as a pumpkin. So I'm gonna have to go do that. But that's no problem, it shouldn't take too long. Um, I'll just head inside the world and uh, meet you guys back out here as the pumpkin. Uh, where we can go take care of the thing over there. Um, so, see you guys in just a little bit. By the way, um, if anyone was wondering at all, I figured out... I didn't really figure it out, but that interval that I was wondering about uh, in a few videos ago, that dun-dun-dun... It's, um... Well, I don't actually know. Because it could be a 6 to a 3. You could do that. Like, for instance, um, uh, A to E, if you're in the key of C. I don't know if that's actually the correct way to denote that interval, but I, you know, I filled around on a keyboard to see if I could figure it out for a little, a little while, and it turned out to be, I found it actually as B natural F sharp B, which is, uh, the 6-3, six, uh, 6-3-6 six, six of D major, so... I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, exiting the world. Here we are as the pumpkin outside and avoiding the tombstone. Oh, jeez, that's a big tombstone. Well, I don't care. We'll just hurry up and go on in here. Very good, very good. We must also avoid that thing, but that's no big deal. Yeah, so there's just this little, uh, little hole that you can only enter as a pumpkin, so... There you go. And in here, believe it or not, is another Mumbo. Or, it, it's not really another Mumbo, it's just Mumbo, because theoretically there's only one Mumbo, and he just runs around to all the different worlds or something. I don't know. But he turns us into Banjo and Kazooie, and um, I think we're supposed to do something in here, but I don't know what. Honestly, 
I think it has to do with this coffin. Oh, nice, nice. Hit that switch. Oh, nice. Because that's where the next world is. Cool. So, yeah. I guess it was very necessary that we did that in order to get to the next world. And now I guess we have to transform back into a pumpkin in order to get out. But that's okay. There's actually one other thing that we need to do as a pumpkin. Um, before we, uh, before we're completely finished. So, go ahead and head over that direction. Um, it's, uh, it's just something in Grand oh, Pumpkin making Mumbo hungry. Me get pot ready. Uh-huh, pumpkin soup. Uh -huh. Okay, um, we have to still avoid these monsters. But, uh, there's something that we can do. They actually let you be a pumpkin for quite a while. You can stray pretty far from the world. Um, so, this allows us to go take care of something back in the previous area. Not too far back, but a little ways. Okay, so, if you had turned the camera around while you were over in this little volcanic region, you see there's this very narrow path, and, um... I'm pretty sure you can't go across this path as Banjo and Kazooie. You have to be the pumpkin for some reason that I'm not exactly sure of. Oh, gee. Oh, no. Um, see, I was distracted because I was trying to read Grunty's text and... Uh, well, whatever. Okay, well, if we fall again, it's like game over. I don't really know what happens if we get game over. I think we just have to sit through that cutscene. And then everything's okay. By the way, if you look at the walls in this game, sometimes you can see stuff. Like, I think I see a pumpkin over there, you know? And like right there, you see it over, like straight ahead, like just where the camera's pointing right now. There's like a pumpkin there or something. Oh yeah, there's this little hole that only the pumpkin can go through. Nice. Okay, my hunch was correct. So, head through here as a pumpkin. And, uh, ooh, it's Cheeto again! Cheeto, Bear, and Bird have found once more another spell they get. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn! Nasty Witch is, so Coda shall tell. Enter Red Feathers on Sand Castle Floor in Treasure Trove Cove. Well, guess what that does? It increases your red feather capacity! Yay! Yeah, swell, huh? Um, okay. Alright, so now we need to go back and, uh, back to the main foyer. Not that there really is a main foyer, but back to the most recent foyer, if you know what I mean. I don't think we can, like, pull a Super Mario 64 and jump down to a lower platform from here, but that would be pretty nifty. But it looks like that's not gonna work, so we have to actually walk across here since we only have one life, and we'd rather not get the game over. I don't know how well this is gonna go, though. Seem to be doing okay. You know, even though you might think jumping, like, ruins your, uh, uh, ability to have precise movements, um, but it doesn't, actually. Um, <laughs> Jumping kind of helps me, at least as the pumpkin, um, walk in a precise direction, line thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Anyway, so as Banjo and Kazooie, now that we've, uh, Mumbo Magic has gotten weak, we head back here, and then, um, okay, we actually, did we, oh man, I don't remember. Was it? Oh yeah, it was over here actually, it was up this way. Now before we do that, is there anything over this direction? I don't actually remember. And hey, why not do it? Okay. Oh, well there's a little, there's a little pot thing. Okay, well we can... I don't know exactly if that's gonna help us at all, because I don't know where the other one is. This would make me think it's like Clanker's Cavern or something, because there's that kind of steel rim. But who knows, whatever. It's not a super big deal. So let's head in here, and I think, yeah, okay, this puts us here, and since we raised the water level, 
we can now get to, uh, oh, uh-oh. Um, I thought we raced the, ro the water level. Maybe that was in the next room. Is there anything in here worth noting? Nothing right now. Maybe there's a new development later. So. Okay. I think it's this room where the largest... Oh, Mumbo Token. Alright, well, I might as well get it. We have enough air. I think. Nice echo. Okay, so... Head up. Ah, okay. This is the entrance to the next world. I, I know that because I recognize it. However, I do not know where the puzzle is.